Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about what is called an altitude or the height of a triangle. So let me let me um, write that in here real quickly and uh, tell you how to draw an altitude in a triangle. So to draw an altitude, which is different from a median, okay, which is different from a bisector, which is different from a, a perpendicular bisector. Um, you go to one of the, and this is for right triangles. I'm going to do two different cases, right triangles and non-right triangles, okay? So let's, let's start with the right triangle. Start at any one of the vertices, all right? So let's just start with A. And if you drew a line that intersected the opposite side with a perpendicular, okay? So let me do that this way. Okay, let's make sure that it forms a 90 degree angle here. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. So I start at the vertex, and then I drop a line that goes all the way to the opposite side and creates a perpendicular. This line is called an altitude. Okay? It's also called a height. And it's normally indicated by the small letter H. All right, so again, it goes from a vertex to the opposite side and creates a 90 degree angle. Okay? Let's do that over here as well. So I start at one of the vertices and then I drop a line that goes to the opposite side and creates a 90 degree angle. Let's do it again right here. And let's make sure that we're creating a 90 degree angle with the opposite side. There we go indicated by that, 90 degrees. And then the same thing right here. All right, so let's make sure we do that. And I want to tell you about some of the characteristics that occur. 90 degree angle. Okay, let's start with the non-right triangle. If I would have drawn it correctly, all three of those altitudes or heights meet in a point, an intersection in the point called the orthocenter the ortho center. Now that's different from a circumcenter and that's different from an incenter and those are some other videos, right? But this height, right, where they intersect is called the ortho center. Now I'm distinguishing a non-right triangle from a right triangle and I'll show you why. If you have a right triangle to begin with, okay, so this is a 90 degree angle right here. And I go from the from the 90 degree angle and I drop a line straight through and create another perpendicular. And I'm going to call this, I don't know, let's call this uh, G. This point right here, G. What I've done here is I've created three similar triangles. Now let me talk about what similar means. Similar means that they have the same proportions, okay? Now, let, let's, let's identify all three of the triangles that are here. I've got triangle ABC, right? Triangle ABC. But then I also have triangle AGB. Actually, let, let, let me... Um, yeah, let me just look at this for a second. So a leg from B to C is the hypotenuse of this bigger triangle, right? All right, so let's do the same thing here. So a similar triangle is A, uh, no, excuse me, would be start at the, at the 90 degree angle. So it goes G, B, then the hypotenuse A. So that would be similar to triangle G, B, A which is also similar to this third triangle here. Triangle, start at the 90 degree angle, G, A, C. Now if I were to draw these triangles out, A, B, C is the biggest triangle, right? And there it is right there. This last one that I did, right, uh, GAC is right here. It's just a little bit smaller. Okay? 
And then the last triangle, the smallest one right here, which would be GBA. Okay, draw them out. It would be right here. When I say similar triangle, and there's the sign for similarity, each of these proportions are the same. So if I said, for example, this were, I don't know, four, and let's say this were six, and then this one were two, I could figure out this side by simply writing a proportion. I could say four is to six, as two is to the unknown side. We'll just call this part X. And that's what's kind of cool about drawing an altitude. You create three similar triangles. Go ahead and rewrite the three triangles like this. A, you know, I call it mama, uh, Papa Bear, Baby, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Orient them so that the corresponding sides are facing one another, and then find the corresponding proportions. Okay, and then you can figure out things. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you.